This is the location of the Second Battle of Long Island. In the First Battle of Long Island, the colonists were unprepared to defend their territory. In this Second Battle of Long Island, in 2007, what were wooded acres were taken over and made into a tax boon for a private corporation. This plant here was the winner of a contest to see who would win the rights to create a power plant in Suffolk County on Long Island for the Long Island Power Authority. They won the uh, contest, the competition, because they found a hook. And their hook was that they would build the land on land that was already free from taxes. They came here to Yampak, New York, because Yampak was in an enterprise zone, which was part of the Bellport redevelopment. So they came in after winning a bid in 2006 to build a power plant on Long Island. And they built it here in an area where they would never have to pay any taxes for the first 10 years. They came in, they built the plant, and Long Island Power Authority decided they didn't need to have the power from the plant for another year. So Long Island Power Authority paid the owners of this plant another $104 million. In 2009, they began providing power to Long Island Power Authority, and they began paying what are called payments in lieu of taxes. And those payments in lieu of taxes started out at $4 million, $5 million, $6 million a year, which is interesting because the contract that this company uh, completed with Long Island Power Authority would pay them $1.6 billion over the first 20 years for the use of the power from the plant. Not to pay for the fuel and not to pay for the actual power, but to pay for the use of the power from this plant, thereby paying $1.6 billion for them to construct the, the plant. Under Brookhaven Town Taxes, if they paid the fair tax for this property, they would be paying $32 million a year every year from 2009. So in the last 10 years, instead of paying $320 million for the fair tax on this plant, they've been paying $60 million. You are facing an onslaught of false propaganda from Long Island Power Authority. I can count, and $320 million is not being accounted for here. They've made pilot payments in payments in lieu of taxes. And that's a private contractual agreement. Who's that contractual agreement made with? This company made a contract with the Brookhaven Town Industrial Development Authority. Why would an industrial development authority make a payment in lieu of taxes agreement with a company that didn't have to pay any taxes because they were in a New York State Empire zone? Because And this, this uh, power plant has taken the place of Northport and Port Jefferson to provide base load power to Long Island. Unless it gets very cold or very hot, produces the cheapest power for Long Island. That's what LIPO was looking for, to get that through without telling the people in, in the town of Brookhaven, the people in Northport, the people in Port Jefferson, what they were up to. So in 2006, people like Steve Engelbright, the senior member of the state assembly on the Democratic side, they were lied to by the people of Long Island Power, indicating that Port Jefferson was going to be repowered if they just went along with this scheme. And what happened is that the Brookhaven Town Industrial Development Authority then gave them a second tax-free status, but not just for 10 years, for 25 years, that this power plant will never pay taxes for 25 years. And if you start 
at $32 million a year and you go for $25 million, 25 years, you're getting an idea of the amount of money that was involved in that second battle of Long Island. And the loss to the taxpayers and the loss to the South Country School District here is in the billions of dollars. Why was that political trade made? Because there was more to the story. And we'll get to the more of the story when I come back.